Hi. Um, in this lecture, we will uh, we will uh, derive uh, the mode shapes and temporal component of Euler Bernoulli beam uh, governing equation. So to it, uh, the Euler Bernoulli beam governing equation, we have so Euler. Uh, sorry. Euler Bernoulli beam equation can be written as EI to the power of 4 W of x comma t divided by rho x to the power of 4 plus rho a to dou square dou square W of x comma t divided by dou t square equal to 0. This is the Euler Bernoulli beam governing equation where E is Young's modulus I is I is area moment of inertia Row A is area of cross section of B. L uh, let us say uh, this is a beam. Let us say it is a cantilever beam. So if we draw a section here, it, it has a, a certain arbitrary cross section, let us say this one. So whatever the area you calculate is A and density is a material property and area moment of inertia should be calculated for this cross section. And Young's modulus, as you know, it's another property of the material. Now we will try to solve this equation to obtain an expression of W of x comma t. Note that W of x comma t is a function of x comma t, where x is the coordinate along length of the beam and t is time. So uh, w essentially is the vertical displacement or transverse displacement of the beam with respect to, to time. So if you consider w to be at this point then x will be equal to l where l is the length of the beam which means w at this point is l comma t even after submitting x substituting x equal to l w is still a function of time it's a variable and it will be varying with respect to time alone and if you want to find out same w, same w at this point, let us say half the length of the beam, then it will be w of l by 2 comma t. And this is the explanation of or uh, 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 a detailed explanation of what this equation means and what different parameters now we will try to solve this equation. For solving, we will take the same equation.
we will take the same equation e i dot to the power of 4 I will write instead of w of x comma t as w rho a rho square w divided by dou t square equal to 0 w means w of x comma t which is a function of x and t now we will rearrange this equation in such a manner that it will have minimum number of uh, variables we have some variables like rho a ei we will try to rearrange this equation and then write it in a compact form like this Now let us say that t square equal to ei by rho a so as to write it in much more compact manner. So now the equation takes the form c square dou to the power of 4 w by dou x to the power of 4 plus dou square w by dou t square equal to 0. This is the equation that we are going to solve or uh, we are going to find out the solution for. Uh, so for this purpose let us say w we will now assume this small w of x comma t as a capital W of x and capital T of time. So this is called a separable solution. Why this is called a separable solution? We are writing an implicit function of x comma t. The w is a function of x comma t uh, of which the form form of which we don't know. At this stage, we are simplifying this form or we are assuming its form to be a separate function of x multiplied by a separate function of time. That's what this solution means. As we have assumed a solution, we can now substitute this solution into the equation. And now we will substitute this equation. From now on, I will write capital W of x as W, capital T of T as T. So on substitution, we will get root power of 4 of capital W into T divided by dou x to the power of 4 plus dou square capital W t dou t square equal to 0. Since w and t are multiplied, a partial derivative will take ordinary derivative form because these two functions are multiplied and they are functions of x and t separately. Since this derivative is with respective x t of t will be a constant with respective to x so it will come out so we will get capital t will come out upon writing capital t outside this partial derivative will take ordinary derivative here also the same w of x is a function of x so with respect to t it is a constant so it will come out then we will take ordinary derivative form right after this we can write we can rearrange this equation as c square divided by capital w d to the power of 4 w by dx to the power of 4 plus 1 by t d square t divided by dt square equal to 0. Further, we can write dx to the power of 4 equal to minus 1 